Hello, my name is Alex. I am from Switzerland. I'm 41 years old. And I came here to Buenos Aires because my girlfriend is here studying art. And I came here to visit her. And I brought my portrait because I saw there are a lot of skate parks to skate. And in Switzerland, I'm working as an architect and part time as a tattooer. That's why I brought my stuff here to do some tattoos as well. I wasn't really good in skating, so I started filming my friends. I always stopped skating, just did filming. And then we built a bowl. There was a point where I almost stopped filming and skating again. And since then, the social effect of being with these people, with my friends, since we had this bowl, I, I was really, I was more into skating than when I started. I learned skating, I learned to skate balls, and then this uh, cancer happened to me, the amputation, and there was another big part in relearning skating. And from the first day on, it was never a question to me if I'm gonna skate again or, or not. It was more like when I'm gonna skate again. I had an amputation of my foot first, and they found a little metastasis on the cut where they take off the foot so they had to amputate more which was kind of a hard stress to me because at this point it was like I was I was really tired because of the chemotherapy I had all this operation and being in hospital all the time and kind of it was like you never know you if you're gonna survive or, or not it was kind of it was I guess the hardest time in my life and luckily all my friends and my family, everyone supported me. They came to the hospital all the time and, and, and helped me to survive. When the doctor told me they have to amputate my foot, my first reaction was, uh, no, this is not possible because I need to do sport and I want to skate. And then the doctor said, today with the prosthetic legs, it's possible to do sport, no problem. After the doctor told me this, it, I went home and I thought a lot about it. it. Took me, I know it took me three hours to get over it. I had this pain for half a year. I couldn't sleep that good anymore. I had medicine and everything. And, and from then on, it was like, okay, there's a solution to get rid of this pain. So after three hours, I was like, so yeah, let's do this. It's the only way. And I, I think that was the first night after half a year I could sleep. Like it was, okay, there's a solution. We have it. six weeks after I got the prosthetic leg I got on my skateboard again just to have the feeling how it is figure out how it feels to be on a skateboard walking was possible then it hurt a little but it was possible so the first time I got on a skateboard and tried to push it was strange because you cannot move your foot so I pushed in the air and so okay I've got I have to go deeper push on the ground I have to figure out how I have to move my body to make it possible and then a couple of weeks later I tried my first turn on a quarter. It was a completely new thing and I was I felt I felt like reborn and, and can do this again without pain. I think I'm getting closer to the point I want to be. I'm not there yet but every time every session is so much fun to me. So I learning new stuff every time. If something like what happened to me, like cancer, if something happened to you, you never know how you're going to react. It's something very personal and I had the good luck that I was always positive, I had always this positive thinking about it. And if I can be an example to other people to, to being positive about the hard time, I hope it helps other people. It's six years ago since this happened to me, so I got into daily routine again and I have to tell myself from time to time again, do your life as it could be the last day. Enjoy and, and I always try to do everything I can. I'm interesting it. So I, I got this, this mental thing of, of seeing more the positive things about the bad things, I guess. And I try to keep this. It's not easy all the time.